just clearly gone just a little bit crazy from being alone and, you know, witnessing, like, her entire scientific team get killed and stuff. Kind of fucked with her head a little bit. So, we're going to do this, and then we're going to go seek out Tannis. No we'll turn in all those quests, maybe we'll meet Crazy Earl, and we'll end it. There's not much left to do here. All I need to do is just basically sit here, run over some bruisers. Or hit that, and hope we can kill this guy. That one works. As long as you kill the stuff, it's no big deal. So yeah, basically everything nods to me. Then again, me being like four levels higher in most of the stuff is probably helping a lot. Kill that. Not sure explode soon. Okay, it's two of six. Oh, and there's quite a few. I don't really care if my car blew up because we're not going to be using the car for much longer. Funny thing is you can actually fast travel to a different area in this area. I don't think it requires a loading screen, though. Pretty sure it doesn't. There's another crate. There's also one down there. Yes, this guy's also run up here, too, so... I'll probably pay attention to that if it's the first time playing. Because there is definitely a ramp there that people can run up. There's also an explosive barrel there that people can be exploded by. For those of you who didn't know. And no, that's not the last case. I thought it was too my first time playing, but it's definitely not. That's actually where you get the evidence. The last case, if I remember correctly, is in one of these buildings. Specifically this one. Now you collect the evidence for Marcus. I don't actually think you need to jump into the box, but I like to jump into the box because it's the first thing I did when I saw the crate. I mean, why not? Let's just jump into strange boxes that could contain body parts. Why not? Okay, well, that's that. All that's really left to do is uh, seeking out Tannis. Which, why not do that right now? Spider ants are going to be kind of annoying, but I got Shotgun Ray on my side. I'm also going to have uh, Incendiary Rain the second I change this back to what it should have been. Incendiary Return. And that should help with dealing damage to these things at the very least. Apparently it went, oh, please walk really quickly there. I'm not sure what happened, but... Okay. Why not, game? Why not? something back there. I might as well just finish cleaning this thing off. Might as well, because I kind of need to. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill that thing off of a car or something, so... Just 
spawn, teleport. And now easy mode. Like I said, easy mode. And that is the easy way to kill stuff that annoys you. What about dying? There you go. All spider ants in that area are dead for no reason. I did get all the journals, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not gonna check. Because I'm that confident. So we're gonna go back over here. At which point, these guys are probably respawned by now, but. Probably boost, since I hardly ever used the boost. Yeah, they've definitely respawned. I definitely just ran a few of them over. Okay, seriously? Okay, I'll be here before you. Fuck! Again! Unbelievable. Remember when I said get out here before you explode, and then you explode the second I said it? Fucking piece of shit. That is stupid. I'm annoyed now. Also, why did you use the fast travel back there instead of wherever I did? Grabbing the car. <sighs> this is dumb. Oh, we'll get the tans. We will definitely get the chance, I guarantee you that. Excuse me while I run across this bridge here in phase walk. Because it's faster than normal walk. Or run. Whichever you choose to call it, it's still faster. Oh boy. So our goal is right over there. In a car we'd be there in like 5 seconds. On foot we'd be there in about the next minute and a half. That makes things worse with spider ants all over this freaking valley. Probably won't run into them on this particular road, but they spawn like right down that cliff. So we stick to the high road, they won't be able to see, I hope. But I can see it's not because I'm shooting at them. The part where I said jump and shoot, and then you didn't listen. Oh boy. I don't even want to fight spider ants, so I have to fight enough of them over here. You'll see why I begin in like five seconds. First things first, shoot some rack. Why not? He'll be back. He always come back. As I said, there's a chest up there, we'll be getting that layer on our way out. First things first, just throw down a few grenades. Now the nice thing is, I think that guy just blew me past the freaking annoying enemy of this area. That spawns a brain right in you, unless you happen to get lucky and be blew from behind. Now we've got a full thing of health, we should be good. So, we're just hoping we are indeed good. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything guy except for Spire Rants. Here's Tannis. And now we get to meet Crazy Earl. Oh boy. And this is the reason why you have to do this quest before meeting Crazy Earl is because you need to clear the path as part of the quest. And my knowledge, the only way to clear the path is to basically accept the quest and then it gives you the option to. There's a lot of rack around here too in case you haven't noticed. Like a suspicious amount of rack. There we are. That should be enough dead rack for a day. There's actually a few chests in this area. The one I'm going to go for first is just over here. It's actually really, really easy to get to. Suspiciously easy to get to, in fact. 
and it gave me a an air corrosive rocket launcher which i just sold my old one because it did around the same damage so the odds of me keeping that one are also very low and option number two easy chests are suspiciously easy the one we've seen on the way in sometimes this thing has an iridian weapon no such luck this time it's actually where i got that freaking pistol thing that pistol iridian weapon i got it from that chest like right off the bat like in my first playthrough which i didn't even know was possible to get that early in the game iridian weapons are stupidly rare by the way, that's that. Now what we could easily do is talk to Crazy Earl and start those, but I think I'm going to save Crazy Earl for next time. So instead I'm going to run back to the fast travel thing, go to New Haven, turn in all those jobs, see if that triggers anything new unlocking before I start Crazy Earl's scrapyard. And then we'll go ahead and do that because there's going to be quite a few quests. We're now over 50% done the game. Let's see, back to New Haven. That's the tetanus warrens. Crap. Didn't want to go to the tetanus warrens. That sucks. And where's the fast travel thing? To New Haven we go, because I don't want to go to the tetanus warrens. <sighs> still kind of tired. Great, I did get like five hours of sleep, but still, that's not much. As usual, Mondays suck. But only because I have school. And that means I have to wake up in the morning. And I don't like waking up in the morning because it sucks. Whatever. We'll turn this in. Great, that's where you get, I believe... Sentinel gun? I can't remember exactly what the gun's called. Yeah, it is a sentinel. And all of a sudden it deals explosive damage in your second playthrough. First playthrough, I'm pretty sure it does not. But it's still not that good of a gun. There's a lot of random shopkeepers around here that do absolutely nothing. And there's the Glorious Massacre, which is also probably not that great, considering I'm pretty sure my current, uh... Yeah, mine's 231 damage. Just like, 100 more damage. Seriously. Stupidly more. Okay, that garage is still closed. Every, you have to keep checking that garage. That's our advice, because every now and then, it will randomly just open. And it sells better loot than uh, what's found in here. Like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, guaranteed, like, blues and purples. Whereas over here, you sometimes you end up with shitty stuff like this. It's, like, all whites. And grenade of the day. The grenades in this game are kind of stupid. There's a lot more variety of grenades in Borderlands 2, I will say that much. Like, you can get, like, fucking, like, bouncing bay transfusions or, like, Really crazy ass transfusion grenades that like have twenty different effects. It's like really trippy and awesome. But this is Borderlands one. We'll get the Borderlands two eventually. But now we'll just be happy with Borderlands one. What's in this chest? I'm pretty sure it's usually just really oh purple. That's not good, but it's purple. I'll take it. Won't be happy with it, but I'll take it. Well, maybe I will be happy with it. Who knows? I definitely did not make that jump. I wasn't expecting to. Either way. Yeah, that's everything except for being Crazy Earl. So yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up for today's session. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As usual. Fun little shotgun there. Just, I do not want to hit T. Make sure all my guns are reloaded. Probably buy more ammo for some of these, but whatever. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time I record more Warland stuff.